minutes, without further ado, I would like to introduce our first songwriter. Um, one of the things I love about Duluth, you know, I play folk and bluegrass and write kind of singer-songwriter stuff, but we've got a lot of musicians that play a whole lot of different type of music, um, and there's just some really, really incredible stuff out in our community. And um, I don't actually remember the first time that I, I heard Lila Abukader play and sing, but I was really struck by, you know, there's this band playing this awesome kind of indie rock stuff, and... Um, I was really grooving on it, and it's not, you know, I don't necessarily think of myself as, like, being into that genre, but um, the way that she expresses her ideas through the words, the way that that band just kind of puts it together, her energy, her emotion, um, and, you know, just the way the songs were constructed, I was really, really awed and struck by that. So um, I want to invite Lila Bukader out, and she's going to play some tunes, and then we'll be back with you in a little bit. Hey, <laughs> thanks Danny for that awesome intro. So special to be here with all these songwriters, just like Danny was saying, back in here. Um, the first time I was here, it was a high school choir concert. <laughs> and we worked, I think like nine months on like, a, like an acapella version of Blackbird slash I Will by the Beatles. We stood right there, and I was like, ah, I made it. <laughs> Alto 2, <laughs> Blackbird. <laughs> um, but it's always special to be here, especially at a event like this. I wanted to start with a song tonight, um, because this song's special, because when I was writing my first album, Scream, and my other album, Your Mom Hates Me Now. <laughs> punk band, punk music. Um, I actually was recording a, an acoustic solo album first with my friend Adam Her Herman of The Sliming Doors. And, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, we actually scratched that solo acoustic album to kind of get back into, I was like, I need to collaborate with musicians. Like I need something, it was coming out of COVID and I was like, I need, I need to be with people and do this, you know? And so we ended up scratching that acoustic album and then I found myself writing two acoustic songs and this wasn't during this was during, excuse me, this was during, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> this was during um, the time of writing Scream, our second album. And we had like the song Tornado and it's like basically screaming. <laughs> and these songs of like punk music. And at this time I wrote these two songs and I'm gonna play one of them for you first, but I was inspired to write these songs because I did a photo shoot with my friend Emily Kominick and she does uh, body positivity photos and it was basically like a therapy session for me. It was like her telling me throughout the photo shoot like you're worth it, you know, you are you are your best self and you need to love yourself. And through writing this album with my band, my love, beloved band, um, writing these hard kind of punk, angry, but fun songs, loud, I was able to write these, this song through that experience with her. And that's kind of how I like to songwrite, is through experience 
and through feeling my experience through other, other people's art. I'm really inspired by other people. And so while I was writing this collaborative album, this song came out through it because of my friend Emily. Oh, I see you're all right with it now. Now you took the words right out of my mouth, and you're gone. But come on. I was so excited to talk about these songs and I rehearsed them in the shower so much and I got so nervous. <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess I started songwriting when I was 12. When I first got my guitar from Santa. <laughs> because of my brother, he started teaching me all these things. Well, basically like three chords and we just had fun with it. And um, yeah, so it's just been a journey like from starting out here, we, I recorded like a 16-track folk album with my band North Shore Summit, like right here. <laughs> and that was super fun. And then, you know, the journey continues. And I think that kind of is why I love music, because I'm, I feel like I'm a really fluid person. And I love that you can be fluid with music as well in that way. So, 
Yeah. I want to play you a new one. It's called Briefs. I know that you know me, but I can't control me. Take a dip, freak out a bit and see. And I bet that you're right there, half naked and scared. Take it off and get me through this week. But you know that it's fucked up. You don't know that it's fun. Cause I've been waiting all day to disappear. Fall asleep in your underwear. Watch me break and stare till I'm gone. Till I'm gone But I bet you'll be waiting It's dumb for mistaken This cup hasn't been full all day with fear And I bet you'll be patient But I'm fucking wasted Freak out and go to bed in fear That I'll still be yelling Get mad about you telling just down the street But there's no sense in selling This idea I've been yelling Cause my ears blew out And they can't look in here But you know That it's fucked up You'll know That it's fun Cause I've been waiting all day To disappear Sleep in your underwear. Watch me break and sleep till I'm gone. Cause I've been waiting all day. Thank you. How exciting to be here. Now I'm not nervous. Damn. Yeah, so this is fun. I've been working on a lot of new things, so it's always a treat to share them really intimate, intimately with people, especially in a very loud space. But thanks y'all for coming out and, and supporting us because, I don't know, music starts with like songwriting and it does. <laughs> and you're all here to support that and that's super cool. <laughs> this one's called Putting You Out With Them.
Thank you so much. So I guess when I like to write, I start with like a feeling, you know? I guess I'm a feelings, feelings gal. <laughs> so I start with that and I, I, I usually just come up with the most simple, simple, simple progression that I like to do because I love writing words. And I'm so excited we're singing a Bob Dylan song tonight because <laughs> of that. <laughs> but. I just, I just love the words, so I usually just start with the most simple progression, and I start with a feeling, and those past, those songs I just sang, the last two, um, I really sometimes don't even know the feeling I'm, I'm feeling. <laughs> like, those two last songs taught me a lot about who I am as a partner, and like, what I need to work on to be a better lover and partner, and supportive friend, and I don't know, I just like to write about the truth, even if it's raw and hard to hear from you sing about yourself, <laughs> but it's good, just like what I was talking when I was nervous earlier with the photo shoot, you know, you got to hear those positive things, and you got to, you know, collab with people who make you feel good. And be around, it's so easy in Duluth to be around supportive artists, you know, to kind of strip down and feel what you need to feel. So, thanks, Duluth. <laughs> <Woo -hoo. laughs> okay, so for this last song I have for you, um, I need some collaboration. Not really like, I'm not gonna make you yell back or anything like a regular show that we would do, which so you should come to our next one and you can do that if you wanna do that. <laughs> but this one, I need your mind. <laughs> so I need you to picture two things that you, like two identities that you have that you really feel strongly about. And like, think of them like collaborating, because that's what makes you, you, is like your intersectionality. So think about like, it doesn't just have to be two. It can be as many things as you want.
to think about your identity in, in those kind of sections, like what are the words that come to mind when you think of yourself, right? And then think, picture a big earth, <laughs> and then think of those just like melting into the mantle, right? So I'll tell you mine, you know, I'm Palestinian, and <laughs> and also white, and those things just clash, and it's great, but it's, it's cool to navigate and everything, but that's what I think when I sing this song. It's called Night Girl. We're off. <laughs> it's called Night Girl. Um, my name, Lila, means night in Arabic. So. Thanks for being here. I'm a night girl Fucking delightful Just cut them into half worlds And leave them to fight, girl And I'm so grateful My tongue's so hateful I think I might just fall to the
<laughs> Thank you so much. Can't wait for you to hear the other, other people. They're awesome. Sonia and Mike, Mississippi Mike. And then we'll jam. <laughs> 